Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking a bit about selectors in jQuery, why we use selectors, and then I'm going to give a quick example of using a selector. Now, selectors are basically a way to select and match a set of elements in uh, on your page. So, for example, if we have a paragraph tag here, um, I've already set up a script called selectors.js, which I have open in my text editor. Essentially, we have a uh, paragraph here. What I could then do is just type some text in here. When we uh, are in our selectors.js file, we've already looked at referencing objects or, or elements by their ID and their class. However, if you wanted to select something, for example, all paragraphs tags on a page, you would use this notation p. So now when we perform an operation such as p.click, like an event handler, every paragraph on the page will now have this event handler attached to it. So we select elements particularly on a page, for example, we reference them by their ID. So for example, pid equals uh, para. We would then use the notation hash and para. So we're only um, creating this event handler for this paragraph. Now, there are many, many other event handlers in jQuery. And over the next few videos or the next uh, set of videos, I'm going to be taking you through some of the event handlers, some of the more useful event handlers. And we're also going to be looking in the first video coming up next, uh, how to select all elements on a page. And we're also going to count all elements on a page as well as a short example. So basically, selectors in jQuery are a way to match a set of elements and then perform a specific operation on them or retrieve a value from them.